with these swords. They must be a clue. Now where did those fools run off to? Changes. By Ifra's hairy feet, you outsiders just keep showing up. You and everyone else in this forest, it seems. My clan has already declared your allies to be trespassers. You don't want to know what we do to trespassers. The Shadow Walkers will catch them. They always do. Does a fuzzy newt goat have seven toes? Don't look at me like that. It's a perfectly appropriate analogy. Anyway. I hope I reach them before the Hunters do. Otherwise, your allies don't stand a chance. Because I'm tired of seeing people get hurt. Ugh. Things need to change around here. We've already spent way too much time talking about fuzzy newt goats. I really need to get moving. Have you noticed the swords left near these campfires? I think your companions are trying to tell us something. I'm going to keep looking for them. If I can reach them before the Hunters, they might just get out of this forest alive. Keep your eyes open and your weapon ready. The shadows here are not your friend. Show them the places for entering the moonless walk. to be alive. You have to be. I need you to help me. I... I didn't do it. I swear. He was like this when I found him. This poor soldier. He didn't have to die. At least the Khajiit got away. How long can he manage to survive, though? I don't know. My clan can be very persistent. Because we made a stupid deal long, long time ago. We became the guardians of this forest in exchange for power and immortality. But look at the cost. Now the Shadow Walkers hunt anyone who dare sets foot in these woods. There might still be a way to save the other soldier, the Khajiit. But you need to trust me. I won't oppose my clan directly. They're my family. But I can help you find your friend. I just want to make sure no one else gets hurt. The Shadow Walkers use runners to search the forest. But you'll never see them. They become one with the shadows, all but invisible when the clan is on high alert. There is a way to see the runners, though. You need to collect the bark of a Spriggan. The bark's magic allows the creatures to... How should I put this? Feel their way through the dark woods. Infuse the bark with the wisps of light, and you should be able to spot the runners. Your friend is out there, being hunted by my people as we speak. If you have questions, ask them quickly so we can get back to the task at hand. My clan is ancient, older than you can even imagine. Our tree mender tells stories of the before time, when we lived under the bright skies in the lush forests of Valenwood. According to the stories, the Daedric Prince unleashed his fury upon Valenwood. Instead of fighting back, my ancestors decided to offer their allegiance to the Prince. And here we are. Gave up. That's one way to look at it. Another way is to see a clan that wanted not only to survive, but to gain a significant advantage. The Shadow Walkers love power. In exchange for servitude, we were promised power over our enemies. I explained this to you already. I'm tired of darkness and false promises. Molag Baal gave us power, but he keeps us trapped here. What good is power if we're stuck in this realm forever? I want to see clear skies and stars in the night. Did you get the bark? We don't have much time left. Just scrape a bit off the top end. There. An old trick I learned living so long in this dreadful place. My friends thought it was funny to hide from me, so I'd use this to see them. It also has an interesting side effect. While it allows you to see anyone hiding in the Shadow Realm, it also masks your presence from them. I've used this method to avoid patrols and sneak out of the forest. It really works. But remember, the effect is temporary. It doesn't last long. Touch the bark to a wisp of light, and then cross the bridge. The runners are searching for the remaining soldier. When you spot a runner, follow him. He should lead you right to your friend. And if the effect runs out, just touch another wisp.
Why are the creatures acting so strangely today? What's all that noise out there? I could have sworn I heard something. Give us the cat, Snake, and we'll end your life quickly. <laughs> way into the tower. Don't be ridiculous, Snake. The Khajiit needs expert help, and that means I'm going to provide it. You are with the Khajiit outsider. I know this. Go. Talk to your friend. The Lamia needs to calm down and back off. I can provide more help to the Khajiit than she can. This one does not understand the game the little elf and the snake thing are playing. But we have something important to do. We need to get into this tower. The key to our victory. It's in there. I know this to be true. We heard voices in the woods. We thought it was other members of our expedition calling to us for help. But Captain Alfari figured it out. The voice comes from this tower. Whoever is locked in there needs our help. And he will help us in return. The last Eliad King here? Then Captain Alfari was right. The key to our victory is locked away in that tower. The wood elves started hunting us almost as soon as we stepped into this dread forest. They killed Captain Alfari in cold blood. I barely escaped. The snake thing found this one, lost and injured and led me safely through the woods. This one isn't sure. The little elf appeared out of nowhere. But at least she didn't try to kill Kabu like the other elves did. They both claim to know how to get inside the tower, but Kamu doesn't trust either one of them. A safe haven in this place. Kamu looks forward to seeing such a thing. Let me rest for a moment before I head out. I wish I could go with you. But until my injuries heal, I would only slow you down. Good luck, my friend. This one doesn't know very much about this area, but this one always has opinions. Ask what you will, and I will answer. It's the least I can do. The little elves are ruthless killers. They call themselves the Shadow Walkers. As far as this one can tell, they hunt and kill anything that enters these dark woods. They never even gave us a chance to beg for our lives before they killed Alfari. Kamu never saw her before. She stepped out of the shadows, but she didn't attack immediately. It is apparent to this one that she is anxious about something, and she seems eager to help us. Perhaps too eager if you know what Kamu means. When we were searching the woods, we ran into a few snake things. They attacked us when we got too close. They never seemed to actively hunt us, though. And of course, that sneak thing over there helped Kamu. I did notice something else, however. When we were resting at one of the campfires, a group of sneak things rushed toward us. But they didn't attack us. They charged the elves sneaking around our camp. The two groups don't seem to like each other. They may even be at war. Oh, what a choice. Like deciding whether to roast slowly or leap right into the flames. There is no good answer. But if we were seeking allies, Kamu would choose the elves. They are strong and capable. They could be a great help against Molag Ball. Well, the friendly snake thing did help me. We shouldn't dismiss them out of hand. They lack organization and fighting skills. But Kamu can't deny their ferocity. Perhaps they are worthy of consideration as well. Uh, 
I know you can't forgive my clan for what it's done, but they adhere to an ancient promise that will never come to pass. I can help you, though. No one knows that tower better than I do, but I need to ask for your help in return. It's important. You have to help me convince my clan to break this ages-old agreement. We've guarded these woods and that cursed tower, assuming that one day Molag Bar would reward us and let us return to Valenwood. But that's never going to happen. Like me, you've been outside this forest. You know about Molag Bar's plan. You know about the plane meld. You have to tell them that our agreement is worthless. How can we ever return to Nern if Molag Bar destroys it? Those monsters. We've been at war with them for ages. My people will never listen to you if you take their side. The Shadow Walkers are powerful. We would be of great help to you, but only if you aid me and convince my people. You've seen my people fight. We're trained to kill. It's what we do. Maybe. Maybe if you can show them that Molag Bal has been using us, lying to us. Maybe they'll see his treachery for what it is and join your cause. We shall help you enter the tower, but first you must help us against these foul wood elves. Do not listen to their lies. They murder our children for no reason. Please, you must help me save the little ones. We never asked to be dragged into Cold Harbor. We never made a deal with the Daedric Prince. But ever since we got here, the Wood Elves raid our nests and slaughter our children. This cycle of murder needs to end. You are a hero. You stride through Cold Harbor with confidence, and not even the Wood Elves can touch you. You can win this battle for us, and we will be in your debt. We will show you how to enter the tower, even help you in your mission. They are monsters. They destroy our eggs and slaughter my people. If you aid the Wood Elves, we can never trust you. The Lamias are powerful. We would be of great help to you. But only if you help us end our war with the Wood Elves. You will? We have waited such a long time for someone to aid us in our struggle. You have made me very happy, outsider. Now we can get our children back. Now we can have our revenge. The vile and ruthless wood elves smash our eggs just because they feel threatened by our numbers. They even hold some in their dwellings, using them as hostages against us. This is not a way to live. We must get our eggs back. They keep our eggs in their camps, holding them to keep us docile. They force us to stay near our own nests, hunting us down if we wander too far. We want our children back. We need our eggs. The tower. Yes, the tower. We will help you with that and so much more. But all of our eggs must be returned. They hide our eggs in their filthy camps. You must enter their homes to rescue our children. But be very careful. Such an intrusion will result in great pain and death if they catch you. I will find you near the Wood Elves' camp. I have ways of moving through the forest unseen. Can be dangerous, but worth the risk. I will do anything to get our children back. I will show you how to get into the tower, full of shiny treasures, I'm sure. And we will become your allies against the Daedric Prince, even fight at your side if that is what you wish. Wait, outsider. A moment more of your time. I get it. My people killed one of your own. They aren't evil, though. You have to understand. We signed a pact to protect this forest. The Shadow Walkers believe that if they fail to honor that agreement, we're all doomed. Well, yes. I can't argue with that. I understand why you'd want to side with these creatures. I also know you need to get their eggs back. But my people don't need to die while you do it. Recover the eggs, but don't hurt my people. I'm not asking for anything you can't do. 
And I'll go with you when you're done, to help. I've been planning to leave anyway, so now's as good a time as any. You can use me, just don't kill any Shadow Walkers. Please. The Shadow Walkers watch the forest, but they're too confident. They leave our camps practically undefended. You could sneak in, get the eggs, and get out. You can do it. I know you can. Please, just consider what I'm asking. You recovered our eggs. How wonderful. My people will be most grateful to you for this. I must return these eggs to our nest, but there is one more thing you must do before my people will feel truly safe. Please, may I tell you about this final task? A council of elders leads the Wood Elves. They live upon a large rock that floats above us. Queen Fajik's eggs were taken and hidden up there. You will need a key to open the portal and gain access to the floating rock. The key is divided into two shards, each protected by a Shadow Walker guardian. As soon as you acquire the two shards, go to the camp in the center of the forest. My people will meet you there. Why do you insist on not harming the ones who kill my people? The little elf girl. She has confused you, hasn't she? Bah! I do not know the ways of stealth. My people kill, and we do so proudly for all to see. I know nothing that would help you. I've already told you that. But think about it. How did you make your way past the Wood Elves earlier? How did you avoid the Runner? That might lead to the answer you seek. You are the outsider who has done so much for my people. I am grateful. Perhaps when this is over, my people can live without fear or worry. Once the tyranny of the Shadow Walkers has ended, you will have the help you need. But first, we must recover my children from the Council. Did you acquire the portal shards from the Guardians? Good. Direct the shard key toward the portal at the center of the arches. The Lamias will do the rest. Our time is now, my children. Swarm forth and reclaim what is ours. Come, let us see how the Wood Elves' council fared against my children. Returned to my nest, and my people shall be safe. The Shadow Walkers shall be lost without their leaders. The day is ours. What would you have us do? The Wood Elves slaughtered my people. They would not listen to reason. The only chance we had was to remove their leaders. Now, we shall watch the Shadow Walkers crumble. You have helped us. Now we shall help you. I instructed Zignith to head to the ruined passage that leads to the tower. You shall find her there. Know that the Lamias are in your debt. Call upon us if you ever need our strength and cunning. My people rejoice. 
Most consider us monsters, but you helped us. We will never forget your generosity and compassion. My egg sisters will live, and life, even in this wretched place, is precious. Thank you. As I promised, this door leads to the tower. I do not know what the tower holds, but we have heard the cries for help from within. Be careful in there, outsider. This is Cold Harbor. Even the most mundane things can hide terrible dangers. The Khajiit told me of a city of safety to the east. I will take some of my people, for we would very much like to see this city. We will be there if you have need of us, my friend. Thank you for not slaughtering my people back in the forest. I've decided that I can no longer live like I was. I'm going to join in your fight. I'm going to get back to Tamriel. What shall I do? We receive strange looks from your people. I expected nothing less. They still think we are monsters. We will prove otherwise. We will show them the power of the Lamias and how our aid will help win this battle.